Hello, everybody. My name is Mortius. I am a necktie enthusiast, education specialist, and acapella artist. And today we are here with the base gang, Emperor's New Clothes. Now, I am so excited to jump into this. For those of you who don't know, the base gang consists of Tommy P, Bobby Bass, Peter Barber, and Marwin Amen. I hope I'm saying that last name right. Uh, these are a group of four very talented bass singers, one of which I've actually covered on this channel before, and the other three I have seen their private work and been extremely impressed, so I'm really excited to see what happens when all of these gentlemen come together. And just in case four of my favorite up-and-coming bass voices coming together isn't enough, they're also covering a Panic at the Disco song. Uh, I've never really had the opportunity to talk about Panic at the Disco, so you guys probably don't know how much I love them, but I love Panic at the Disco. They are one of my favorite artists. I know that's not like a hot take because everyone, a lot of people love Panic at the Disco, but just, oh, for so many reasons, I am so excited to hop into this cover, and for that reason, I'm gonna shut up, and we're just gonna hop right on in to The Emperor's New Clothes by The Bass Gang. By the way, I forgot to include this in my intro, but if you enjoy supporting small content creators, please hop on into the description and go follow the Bass Gang. This is the first video on their official channel, and I am so excited to see what they come up with next. And also, if you really, really, really like supporting small content creators and like this kind of thing, please make sure you go subscribe to each of their four individual channels. And if you haven't subscribed to me yet, also do that, because we are all content creators trying to make our way through this crazy oversaturated platform. And if you like seeing small creators thrive, then I've got myself and four other fantastic creators all represented in this video, and you should subscribe to all of them. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, 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 all right, all right, that's already so cool. Hang on. Just from the get go, we've got some really cool things happening here. So, Marwan's is very very cool uh for those of you who don't know since i happen to rewind to a spot that shows them each perfectly we have oh my hand can't go all the way over there but from left to right we have tommy p peter barber bobby bass and marwin amen um i think that's the order i actually co coincidentally said it in my intro but anyways we had marwin the gentleman on the right who i know also arranged and edited this piece hitting us with that which is very cool and right as he's getting to the end of it peter does the whoa with that real deep voice very cool <laughs> Welcome to the end of eras. I just melted back to life. Like my time, I serve my sentence. Dress me up and watch me die. It feels good, tastes good. I, God, I don't want to pause because this is so well put together. But I got, I hold on. All right, I've got a lot to say there. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the end of eras. I just melted. The way that they've got, uh, I, <laughs> Peter's face there is very silly, just coincidentally where I paused. But I do like that they're not just limiting themselves to four voices, um, which honestly makes a lot of sense because all of these people have done uh, individual work on their own where they've layered their own voices. So it totally makes sense that they wouldn't just limit themselves to one of each track. Each of them are used to singing with themselves already. So right here we've got five voices and at different areas we might have seven, eight, a hundred. Who knows? I'm so excited to see where it goes. But I really like that they're not limiting themselves there because it creates a lot of cool things. For example... The fact that even though Tommy, I hope, is it Tommy or Tommy? I don't actually know. I'm so sorry. I, I'm only realizing right now that I've only seen it written. But uh, how Tommy P is um, 
singing the Welcome to the End of Eras mainline while also providing that. Welcome to the End of Eras. Also providing that bass line, that boom, doom, ba -doom, doom, doom, that sort of background upright bass line going on there. As ice is melted back to life, and I my time and serve my sentence. Dress me up and watch me die. It feels good, tastes good. I love that. Oh, I don't think that was the right notes, but I love that build up of the four people going Sweet there. up and watch me die. It feels good, tastes good. It must be mine. Dynasty decapitated. You just might see a ghost tonight. Excuse me, I thought this was the base gang. What? Dynasty decapitated. You just might see a ghost tonight. Oh, I need to know how much of that is post and how much of that is just natural talent because that is an insanely, insanely high note. Holy cow! Wait. What no I don't even think I could do that. And I'm I'm about as tenery as they come, and I don't think I could hit that note even if I like stood up and warmed up to it. That is insane falsetto control, especially from a bass member. Wow. It must be mine. I love the quick cut off on mine too, the must be mine. Like that's very cool. Okay, I'm gonna let it play for a little bit. It tastes good. It must be mine. Dynasty decapitated, you just might see a ghost tonight. And if you don't know now, you know. I'm taking back the crown. Ooh, hold on. And if you don't know now, you know. I'm taking. I love that. And if you don't. And if you don't know now, you know. And if you don't know now, you know. Or whatever those harmonies that Bobby and Tommy had going on there. And if you don't know now, you know. And if you don't know now, you know. And and if you don't know now, you know. That's very cool. Taking back the crown. And actually. I know I'm pausing so much, but I I just realized something else is really cool about that. And if you don't know now, you know. Most of the time, I feel like they will, or just acapella arrangers in general, will give the main line in the same octave as the original and let harmonies play around somewhere else. But what they did there was interesting. Tommy uh, did a did the same line as the original, I believe. The and if you don't know now, you know. But he did that two octaves down, and then up closer to the original octave was Bobby, but with a harmony. So. There was the original line, but lower, and then a funky line higher, instead of the original line where it should be, and then fancy lines surrounding it. Taking back the crown, I'm all dressed up and naked, I see what's mine and take it. Oh, yeah. The crown, so close I can taste it, I see what's mine and take it. I love that they're letting everyone shine. Like, no one person is taking. Like, Marwin absolutely nailed the initial Uh, and he could have just taken everyone from then on. But no, they're letting everyone shine in the main line, but even fun things like the They're giving everyone a chance. Such a cool arrangement. Oh. Velvet sofas, lavish mansions, vintage wine. I am so much more than royal. Snatch your chain and make your eyes. It feels good, tastes good, must be. I was literally just what you saw that big reaction to was me re like normally I'd be like whoa to a fun thing like put my arm up a little that was me reaching forward to already pause over something and then it shocked me so much that it just threw those arms back hold on there's like three things I need to talk Vintage about wine. I am so much more than royal snatch your chain and make your eyes I love the uh snatch your chain and mace your and then just doesn't do anything else with it because it allows Marwin to do the second thing I want to talk about. Uh, but it's really cool how Snatch Your Chain, Snatch Your Chain and Mace uh, is in time with the lead vocalist here. Uh, but then the your kind of Mace Your instead of Mace Your Eyes. 
I feel like I'm not articulating that very well, but just... I am so much more than royal. Snatch your chain and make sure your eyes. It feels good, tastes good. It... Hold on. Snatch your chain and make sure your eyes. It feels good, tastes good. You guys know how much I enjoy when they didn't do it 100% there. That was like 95% of the way to my favorite thing. But that's not at all a criticism on it because what they actually did was just as cool. It just wasn't what I'm about to describe. But one of the things I really, really enjoy... Just, oh my god, look at all these expressive faces. These are five... Four, five? I'm gonna go to sleep. These are four just absolutely incredible performance look at the amount of charisma on this screen right now i know i just distracted myself from what i was actually going to talk about but god these are just incredible performers like everything i've seen um from any of these people like tommy's hellfire he just gives so much this elongated uh sinister i'm like doing a bunch of promotion for these guys but you should go check out all the videos i'm about to mention but uh, like in Bobby Bass's Wellerman, he has just this like this like very cool like snarl going on. Um, Tommy's Hellfire, he's got this elongated sinister. The emotion in Peter's Leaves from the Vine. Marwin, when he did Stay, he just has so much like these are four performers. These are not just vocalists. These are performers, and that's what you need in an acapella group. They are amazing. Now I need to rewind because I don't remember what I paused to talk about. <laughs> Snatch your chain and make mace your eyes. It feels good. That. Snatch your chain and mace your boom. Or in mace boom. That slide that Marwin does down to that incredible low note is just so, so cool. So, 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 so cool. I am a huge fan of that. But I really like the way that most of the background dipped out and let him do that. Uh, so what I was going to describe as being one of my favorite things is when instruments drop out uh, and allow just the vocal line to carry. Uh, which I've talked about a lot on the channel before and I've already paused so much that I'm not going to talk about it too in depth here. You can check out various other videos like My Mother Told Me and um, even... I talk about it a little bit in Peter Barber's Leaves from the Vine. So you can go check out any of my videos there where I talk a little bit more in depth about that technique, but it's very cool. Let's let's keep it going. Then Royal snatch your chain and make your eyes. It feels good, tastes good, it must be mine. Heroes always get remembered, but you I'm gonna pause again. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm so posy today. This is the same recording session that I did Oogie Boogie, so maybe I'm just in an extra posy mood, but um, I do really uh, like... Watch Mar when I'm left. Yeah, that... What do, 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 do. I love when um, performers will give a visual indicator of the instrument they're replicating. So like in the Butts medley from Home Free, um, Austin does this... As he's imitating a guitar, he strums along. Marwin actually plays his own vocal drums there. Feels Watch the good, left. Tastes good, it must be mine. Heroes I love that. Get Very cool visual. You know legends never die. Get remembered, but you know legends never die. <laughs> That's so cool! Hold on, the backgrounds do, you know legends never die. They split up that background among the four of them. Watch this. Heroes always get remembered, but you know legends never die. And if you don't know, now you know. I'm taking back the crowd. I'm all dressed up and naked. <laughs> See what's mine to take What was that line that Bobby just did? Oh, Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. That's really cool. I like that. So close I can taste it. See what's mine and take it. God, those high notes! Mortal kings are ruling castles, welcome to my world of fun. Liars settle into sockets, flip the switch and watch them run.
I wasn't ready for that. And I know that they're about to hit the key change, which is why I paused before it went into that, because I want to be able to appreciate the build up into it and it's full. So I'm just gonna. Ruling castles, welcome to my world of fun. Liars settle into sockets with the. That's so cool. I. I don't even know how to address this from an arrangement standpoint, but it's oh, just. Oh, yeah! So cool. So cool. Yeah, Peter. Oh, I just blew out my microphone. Woo. Yeah, Peter. Holy cow. Honestly, because Tommy already showed such the amazing, um... Uh, b -b 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 uh, control of his upper falsetto. I was really expecting that. Uh, which, catch, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's in the original key of Brendan Urie, right? Yes, it is. Since Tommy already showed off that incredible falsetto control up at the top of his range, um, I really expected that to be done by him. Or just to not be in the original octave and them just do like a oh, oh yeah like down a little bit lower. But no, Peter comes in with the da yeah the oh, oh that wasn't the right note. Oh, that's incredible. Watch them run. I talked so much at the beginning of the video about how I really wanted to like support these smaller content. I was talking up their content so much. I was like mentioning individuals because I really want to see all four of these members thrive. And I thought that my like words and my promotion would be, would help with that. But oh my God, it was not necessary because if anything could ever speak for itself and tell you that you have four people you need to go subscribe to, it was what we just witnessed. God dang. Oh my God. That was incredible. That was just, wow. That had just the production value, the editing of so... I just, I don't even... <laughs> that was so good. That was insane. That was just ridiculous. That was so just... That was... I don't know. Like I said, if that didn't convince you to go subscribe, I don't know what could. But please, go check out The Bass Gang. I've got their link in the description. I will also link all four of their individual channels because I genuinely and truly believe they all deserve the opportunity to thrive on this platform because they all are just such standout mem or standout performers in their own regards, both in ways they all share and in ways that make them each unique. So... Oh, thank you guys so much for checking this out. Uh, like I said, just please, please, please go support them. Uh, and also, if you liked my content, of course, as always, please make sure you like and subscribe to my own channel as well. Um, because that helps out small content creators grow. But thank you all so much for watching. Oh my goodness, I'm about to go listen to that 20 more times. And as always, gals, blokes, and all other folks, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.